Hello and thank you very much for joining me in the studio again where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales. So you just see me drying off a piece of cardboard. If you want to know what I was doing there, don't forget to click in the iCards by there and that will take you along to the video to show you exactly what I've done there. So um, yes, without further ado, let's have a quick look at the palette and I'll explain to you what we're going to be doing today. You're welcome, thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget. So, as you can see, the palette, I've got some um, yellow ochre, I got some mid yellow, cadmium yellow. I've actually got some vermilion today. Um, if you don't got vermilion, any red will do. Um, I've got a little bit of blue, and that's an ultramarine blue. I got some black, a Mars black, if you want to know, and I got some titanium white so i was walking <laughs> oh dear <laughs> i was walking my dog the other night as i do every night i take my little dog molly for a walk i was walking my dog the other night and um you know one of these strange things you see sometimes you'll see a moon and the sun in the sky at the same time the sun is setting the moon is starting to rise and there was um all it was just a wonderful colour in the sky. You've got that setting sun and all this wonderful orangey, yellowy type of scene in the sky. Nature's a wonderful thing. And it was actually it actually caught the moon. And the moon was wonderful. It was it was I've never seen I, I think they call it a blood moon, maybe. I don't know exactly how they call it, but it was it was lovely and so I thought I'd recreate that. I thought I'd try and recreate it. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, let's give it a go. So, first of all, what we need to do is um, we can either use a... I didn't know I had one of these, look. Wow. I didn't know I had one of them. It's a little compass. Yes, a little compass. There we are. So Francis Drake would have liked that, a compass. So, um, let's put... A, if we haven't got a compass, we'll, we'll put a, a paint pot on and we'll just go around very quickly there we are I'll do is that's all we need just a line just a guide if if you're afraid that that's going to show through get you an eraser and rub it off so it's very very light like that very very light like that so I thought what I do now is I'm thinking about this this um let's get a little bit of it's got a little bit of water. I'm just using tap water today. I don't care. I don't mind today. I'm going to get some white. Some white and a little tiny bit of black. So we've got a grey. A little bit of blue maybe. Yeah, let's, let's do a nice blue-grey. A bit more black. So that's one colour. Maybe a little bit lighter than that. Let's get a bit more white. Just bear with me. Bear with me. There we are. So I'll put a bit of that there now. Get some more white to that. Let's just brighten that right up. So we've got two different colours using the same. So we just a lighter version of that, basically. So we're keeping the tones there. There we are. We've got, we got two colours there. Okay, let's me get some kitchen roll. This is going to be a quite simple painting today. I thought we'd put a, this is going to be the moon. Keep it as circular as possible. I'm going to, if I, if I go slightly wonky, don't worry. It's not something I'm going to keep. We want a, want a sphere, basically. Don't sphere, just print it. Okay. You're going to live on Earth, they said, the Martians. We don't want to live in sphere. <laughs> right. What? What are you talking about? Let's try that off. <laughs> I've had a bit of a funny day today. So we'll get a, little, get a little bit of kitchen paper. Get a little bit of kitchen roll, kitchen paper, whatever we want to call it, and, and just... Dab a little bit of into that into the dark bit, and let's just 
in the dark bit and let's just put a, a few marks on look it doesn't have to be perfect okay it looks it needs to look like a moon that's all that's all it needs to look like some sort of a moon there we are so just that derby effect like that that'll do that's fine chuck it in a bin hey okay so let's dry that off and the fun thing about my videos is that I don't plan anything. I don't pre-paint anything. I've got, I've got an idea what I'm doing, but you see it as it, as it, as it, as it, as it grows. Sometimes it works, sometimes it fails, but you know, majority of the time I'm pretty good. So um, I'm quite happy with that so far. I'm going to find a nice brush now. Is it, this is a soft brush because I'm not very good at cleaning my own brushes, to be honest with you. So let's get a little bit of red. I've got this vermilion. <coughs> I'm going to put some red in the sky. And if you've painted with cardboard, you know sometimes that it can get very dry very quickly on you. So I'm going to put some red in the sky, some yellow, just to make that. It, it, vermilion and yellow is a, is a, one, makes a wonderful, wonderful... Um, orange it really does it makes a wonderful orange let's get that down like that now i'm going to wipe my wash my brush i don't want any red i don't want any red on my brush i want to make sure it's just yellow now because i want to go slightly over that moon. I'm going to get a little bit of white to it. Let's get a bit more white to that. Because it had this bit of a like a glow to it. More white. That is wonderful type of glow around the whole thing. It's like as if it was just fuzzy. <laughs> it really was. It's like a fuzzy, fuzzy thing. Um Put a bit of light in there. Like that. Let's get a bit more. Light. And then back into this yellow. There we go, a bit more white. Do, 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 I'm going to make sure I don't pick up any grey. I don't want that grey. Let's get that orange back down here now. Can you see that? It's, it's, it's... Uh, I hope you can see what I can see because it's it's not looking too bad at all actually. It's um it's a wonderful uh, moon. I'm not sure if I emphasize it a little bit more in a second. Maybe I can maybe I can just lift it a touch. But as I said, I don't I don't plan any of my paintings, and um, I know some of you were saying I'm not surprised. <laughs> but. I just like to play with paint and see what I can come up with and it's, it can be quite a challenge sometimes I think especially when 
you were just painting uh, making it up on the spot I, I like making things up on the spot I really do I think it's fun we've got that sky warmth now there was a lot of cloud in the sky so I'm going to incorporate a little bit of that in a second but I'm not going to spoil it at the moment because I want this uh, I want to get the colors in that I remember before I do that I'm just going to wet my brush now. I'm just going to blend that in. I want to make it nice and smooth. In fact, I'm going to get um before it dries. I'm just going to get a wet, nice wet brush now, and I'm just going to go lightly over like that. to blend it all together because it's quite smooth now I'm gonna try and um, maybe emphasize this moon a bit more now so let's get our let's get our gray picking out those craters and things that we can see you got a bit of light down there as well so this is our light gray Maybe let's get that bar, a bit of that darker grey back in and just drop in just to a few little craters and things like that. You get the idea? Can you see that? Can you see it? I hope you can see what I can see. Okay, so what I want to do now, I want to get a little bit more of this red colour because it was a lot of there's a lot of cloud in the sky so it was it was picking up a lot of this red in the sky like that a bit of there these don't forget it's clouds as well so the clouds are picking up all the the, the, the that type of color now what i'm going to do something dra radical now i'm going to dry that off so take a little bit of time when when you're doing something like this you you, you really do need to um and take your time don't don't try and rush things like me as good, I do tend to rush things a bit, so I'm just going to pick up a little bit of pure titanium white now. Just to highlight the edge of that moon, maybe bringing that down like this, bringing in a bit of light. Because when you got the sun, where am I? Where am I? You got the sun there, like that. Can you see that little dot? Yeah, you got the sun there, and then you got the moon is going to be by there. So this light is going to be shining on the moon, and vice versa. But more so from the 
from the sun, which is that big, and the moon's that big, so it's, it's going to pick up a bit of light. So we just need to just maybe just put a few little spots of light in. Just like that. You have fun. Enjoy. Okay, so now you might be thinking, why why have you got black and blue on your palette then? Because um you know you haven't used that yet. Let me just wash this brush and I'll explain to you why. I don't want any red in it. Not if I can help it. So yeah, let's get some black and some blue. So I've got a blue black water that down and let's put let's get a little bit more blue to it I think I'm just gonna edge this off now because it was like this really dark don't forget I've cropped in with the camera that I took a picture of And I got these wonderful effect from the camera. Now I'm going to try and create. You can only get these this type of effect from a filter. I was like clouds. Coming in. Like this. Now, I don't know how this is going to look. As I said, I'm just trying to paint from memory. And sometimes these things will work, sometimes they won't work. And if this is a situation where this painting doesn't work, well, what it's going to do is give you a, an idea what you can try or not what works what doesn't work this is a night nice sky with our glow of clouds in the foreground but you've still got that glow of the sun set in I hope you can I hope I, I hope I hope it's looking okay anyway I want to bring a bit more of that down then across like that you can make it quite a dark painting Quite light. Some of these clouds are really tight in front of each other. Is it miss? Is it? Is, am I losing the moon? I wonder. Have I put a bit too much black on? So we need to put a bit of glow in the sky now. So let's just dry that off. So mix in a bit of yellow, vermilion, a bit of white maybe. Let's get a bit of... light. Up 
these clouds just catching a little bit of light. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to experiment. Don't be afraid to try different color text, uh, different color um, um, variations is the word I was looking for. Don't forget to try these things. And sometimes, like I said, sometimes things will work. Sometimes they won't work. Sometimes they look absolutely awful. And what, what I try to do, I don't, I don't try to hide any paintings from you I, I try to paint in front of you and I don't want to be perfect every time I don't want to because life's not perfect life isn't like that life's about learning as we progress through the journey that we're all on which is life and I think finding your own artistic your own artistic skills, your own methods, your own techniques um, is important as in just as important as, as painting a perfect piece of artwork because there is no such thing as a perfect piece of artwork. There really is not. Because no artist on this planet or any other planet for that matter <laughs> is going to be happy with what they produced. They're really not so i don't i don't know what this looks like on camera it looks okay where i am i don't know if it looks okay i might have put a little bit too much black there around this moon i might have been a bit too much orange around there um that's my own i don't want to change that now that's my own type of monster i've got to wrestle But look, it is what it is. It's paint on a piece of cardboard. What I was going to do with this, what I could do with this, now is take it on to another stage and I can make that moon a bit bigger. I can concentrate on it. I'll actually think about, this is just from my memory, by the way. So this is something that can be, right, I need to adjust this. I need to change that. And But you get the idea. It's, it's a really nice way to, to create some sort of a atmosphere with just a few colours and, and give it a go give it a go i hope it looks okay and if it doesn't it doesn't matter because at the end of the day it's going in the bin it's just giving you tips and techniques along the way and showing you don't be afraid of anything or anybody and just put yourself out there and go this is who i am and be accepted for what you are that's it that's the most important thing in life that way it helps us deal with our anxiety and our depressions and all the other medical issues that we could have that's holding us back. The most important thing is be yourself and don't worry what people say or think. You are an individual and that's what makes you you. On that note, I'll see you next time. Bye.